Today, I wanna to show you exactly what's holding you back from getting the most out of your training. We all know that form and technique matters, but sometimes the really small details can have a huge impact on the quality of your workout. So let's dive into the top four things I have on my list. First up, we're going for the low hanging fruit. It's weight selection. Generally speaking, I see experienced lifters going too heavy and more beginning lifters going too light. To start with, we need to have a good proper understanding of what excellent form really looks like. So having a trainer or coach check your form is great, or you can watch demonstration videos and then record yourself and watch it back. Don't trust what you see in the mirror in real time. We all have the workout equivalent of beer goggles on while we're mid set. It's only after that set that you can watch it back and really see how well you kept it together. I think the sweet spot here is maintaining excellent form for most of the set maybe having the last couple of reps start to deteriorate just a little bit, that's a good sign that you're pushing with a good level of intensity. If your last reps are as perfect as your first, you're probably not challenging the muscle enough to get a proper growth response. Next up, tip number two, getting too fancy with your crap. I'm telling you folks, the basic stuff works. See, I'm saying keep it simple. Resist the urge to get too cute. Any exercise with more than three words in the name is likely to be too fancy for its own good. Tossing in some new movements from time to time is great. When you've done 5,000 workouts, we all have a hankering for something new and fresh, but the overwhelming vast majority of your workouts should be built around basic staple movements and exercises that you focus on executing as flawlessly and ferociously as possible. Those are your entrees. The fancy stuff is dessert and you should feel free to skip dessert most days because we prefer the nutritionally dense lat pull down as opposed to the empty calories of the inverted cable isolateral reverse x pull with supination one and a half reps. Don't be fooled into chasing the novelty of something new, thinking it's the key to growth. It's a fun thing to toss in for variety. It's not the key to blowing up your lats, as many things get called. That key is just good, hard, basic work. Before we get to number three, if you like the video so far, go ahead and express that in the form of a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing if you wanna see more. Also, the topics that I'm covering here and a whole lot more are covered in my Hypertrophy University online course, which you can read about by clicking the link in the description below the video. Okay, now on to number three, proprioception disconnection. This is having a disconnect between what the exercise is intended to target and what you're feeling. In exercise science, proprioception is defined as your body's ability to sense movement or action. In our case, we're talking about the ability to feel a muscle working as it performs an exercise. If you've ever done an exercise and after the set thought, well, that was hard, but I'm not really sure why. I don't know what happened. Then you've experienced a lack of proprioception. This is an issue that new lifters can struggle with universally and more experienced lifters can suffer from on just certain exercises or with specific muscle groups. One chapter in my Hypertrophy University course is dedicated to troubleshooting these problems with proprioception and give some practical strategies to overcome and work through it. And finally, if you know me at all, you know I can't resist the opportunity to talk about progressive overload and workout logging. Several chapters of Hypertrophy University go into these topics at length. It's that important. For the non-genetic freaks among us, progressive overload and diligently logging and tracking your workouts are the key to ensuring we progress over time. As I like to say, if you aren't logging, you're just guessing, and guesswork isn't the greatest method for growing. Take the guesswork out of it and track your lifts. I always prefer pen and paper just to avoid the distraction of the phone. But if an app works for you, use it. Just use something to keep track of this stuff and monitor your progression over time. So those are my top four workout tips. I mean, honestly, I could go on all day and offer 20 or 30. So I'll just say these are four important workout tips and call that good. What would you add to this list? Disagree with anything on mine? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And as always, remember that everyone commenting is a human being. So please just be respectful. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and check out one of these videos here, which might be right up your alley as well. Thank you for watching.